Hi guys, hope you're doing well as always. So consider this a little bit of a complaint video. Um, I'm not going to completely talk smack about the WWE because whether it's good or bad, I will always watch it. Even if like 90% of people stop, I would probably still watch it just in hopes that it would get better. But Raw last night sucked. It just, it was horrible. I really think it was bad. Probably one of the worst shows that I've seen in a long time. And I can't be the only one that feels that way because I was on Facebook looking at people's comments and a lot of people thought that the show sucks. Best part, ironically, was the Daniel Bryan anger management segment. Sorry, I had to go away for a second. But anyway, um, but that segment, those segments of anger management, they didn't even happen in the ring. They were pre-taped. And, you know, I thought it was especially funny when Kane came in and told, like, his life story. That was pretty hilarious. But other than that, the show is crap. And I don't like CM Punk as a heel. Either way, I'm going to be a fan of him, but I I sure don't prefer him as a heel because heel CM Punk is the whiny, complaining, preachy type guy that just talks a lot. That's just my opinion, but I don't prefer him as a heel. I prefer him as a face. He just works better that way. And I seriously, I'm sorry to say this, I got friends that like her, you know who you are, but I don't like AJ as the GM. I think she's horrible as the GM. She's not believable. She doesn't look like an authority figure. Her little girlish looking self in the business suit, skipping around, prancing around, she just doesn't look like a GM. I guess she's not supposed to, but she just doesn't. She's not believable. I don't think she's a good actress. She doesn't play crazy well. I just really preferred her as the regular diva, the NXT girl, and then moving on to Raw and SmackDown. And just being a normal old diva and not being so thrown in our faces like she is now. Let's see, let's see what else. Triple H's retirement. Um, I'm upset about this, of course, but I saw it coming. I pretty much figure he should have already been retired anyway. He wrestles like once, maybe twice a year. And Triple H is always going to be, always will be, one of my favorite wrestlers, but... I kind of already considered him retired because he hardly ever comes out there anyway. He's just like the suit guy in the, in the uh, office. Okay, and then also on the whole Raw subject, I really don't like these three hour Raws. I don't think Raw should be three hours whatsoever because that extra hour that they throw in there, is it me or does it always end up being just recaps of last week? recaps from earlier in the night, maybe a few backstage segments, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really, anything of note that they put into that third hour. It, it's useless and I would, I, it just never keeps my attention. It never ever keeps my attention. I would rather just watch the regular two hours, give me whatever you want to in the two hours WWE, but not three hours. It's just not worth it. Okay, what else, what else, um, what else was I going to mention? Um, the whole Triple H retirement thing makes me realize that all the good ones are gone, pretty much. Everybody that, if you started watching wrestling in the Attitude Era, everybody that you watched is pretty much gone. Shawn Michaels is gone, Edge is gone, Chris Jericho, we're not really sure if he's completely retired, but... Even if he's not retired, he probably won't be back for like however long, a year, or six months, I don't know. Um, and now Triple H is, I guess, retired, we can assume. Um, it makes us realize, I think, that the guys that they're pushing now, Seamus, Dolph Ziggler, whoever else, um, has to step up and really show that they can be the future of the company. Whenever you look at the roster now of people that they're pushing that can be the future, I don't know if we should be happy or sad about the people that are up and coming. All I know is that I definitely look forward to the FCW guys coming in. I think they can really kind of shake things up and make a name for themselves. Especially, especially in my opinion, Dean Ambrose. This guy, how long have we been waiting for him to debut? 
like forever. I feel like he's never going to debut. I actually thought he might come in on a Raw 1000, but that never happened. So, him and Seth Rollins and Cassius Ono and some other guys, I'm very excited about them coming in. Because then I think maybe they can give us some hope for the future. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, tell me what you thought of Raw last night and tell me just like a couple of main things that you think the WWE needs to change. Cause, and don't say that they can just go TV-14 because we know that's not going to happen, unfortunately. I think we just have to take TVPG and make the most of it. But for sure, Raw doesn't need to be three hours. There needs to be a new Raw GM. CM Punk needs to be a face again. That's just what I want to say. So give me your thoughts and what you would change mainly about the company and Raw and everything. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye.